All right, good people. Uh, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Coop. Um, what I want to do with this one is just kind of walk you through uh, my online WhatsApp consultation with Ashley Tarkin. Um, so last night I, I, I was um, watching uh, a live by my brother, Millennial uh, Hair Transplant. And uh, there was a couple things that were broached. I think that this could be of some value and of some help. Uh, what I want you to consider as you watch is what are the questions we are not asking. And additionally, if you are considering uh, going to this clinic or any other clinic abroad, um, I don't want you guys to, to limit your consultation to scheduling or the number of grabs. All right. I got to dig a little bit deeper. Um, and this one is not a conclusive end all be all either. Um, I kind of cut it short, uh, given that I, I'm going with a different option. So, uh, hope it's not too long for you. Go ahead and enjoy the questions uh, and answers more, more than the questions themselves. Uh, provide a lot more insight than anything. All right, peace. All right, so, you know, it is very limiting um, having a consultation uh, that's not in person. However, um, there are some things that uh, we, can, we can do that can kind of uh, put some of our concerns to rest or um, get a little bit more clarity or insight. So, as you can see from the text, um, you know, I first contacted these guys back in February of 2021. And ironically, it's a year uh, from the time that I was really, really about to jump on a plane and actually head out there. Um, but as we know, Corona hit. So um, they asked some basic questions, your age, um, whether or not you have any pre-existing medical conditions, etc., And some lifestyle questions in terms of um, how much you partake in devices. <laughs> so that's pretty basic. Um, I did something similar on WhatsApp with Hair at Istanbul and via text messages with uh, HRS in Atlanta. All right. So um, these pictures are not the most flattering of myself, uh, but they also predate my YouTube post. Right. So if you haven't seen my Minoxidil and 18 year timeline video, you can kind of get a sense of where I was coming from, given that at this point, I was some four months removed from starting the finasteride, amongst other things, all right, uh, like biotin and salt palmetto, etc. So here's the dome. Um, so the guy, he gets back to me relatively quickly, uh, within an hour of looking at my pictures. Um, and he breaks down, uh, you know, what to expect and what they offer in terms of uh, what comes with the hair transplant. You get a PRP and all those other things, uh, which you guys, I'm sure you're familiar with. And it's over a three, um, three day, um, type of process. Now, if you, if you're going to grow weary of the video, I'm going to encourage you to stick around. Um, I'm only, um, letting the text go very slowly to give you an opportunity to read it for yourself. Um, and initially I wasn't going to narrate this. I was going to play music in the background and let you kind of read it off yourself. But I think um, there are some places that I want to emphasize um, and, and, and point to a highlight as takeaways. All right. So they're pretty aggressive. Uh, they're talking for me, which I really don't feel. I feel like I have an Ostley Tarkin 5,000 graph right now. All right. But they're talking two procedures and, and the numbers are pretty pretty high. I don't think my donor area, um, anything past 4,000, I think will decimate mine. Given that I'm a bit more advanced in age than a lot of you guys, um, but I have been using, I, I believe that finasteride, the minoxidil I'm applying, is improving uh, the quality of my donor area. All right. So <clears throat> note that I didn't even ask the price. I kind of said, oh, I'm excited for the 1700 because at this time, as many of in the community know, there was rumors of price increase, etc. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, it might not be realistic uh, to, to think, uh, you know, one procedure will do it for me. But for my expectations, 
I think it can. If you're one of those who want to return to your prime and have your Paul George intact with the density, um, you know, those two would, would be the route to go. Um, and there's no guarantee there either. So this is very interesting. Um, their take on finasteride um, was pretty jarring, in my opinion. Um, I'd never, I, would, I would assume that there's not a clinic on the face of the earth that would discourage uh, finasteride. And the gentleman goes on to um, talk about you know, some of the, the mythological side effects. Now, later he says, you know, it causes cancer and all these things. There is a single study that I'm aware of um, that, that tests that out. I'm not going to tell you the details of that particular study. Uh, I want you to go and check it out for yourself. Because in my line of work, I'm not too keen on giving out answers. I want to encourage research and inqu inquiry, basically. Um, and when you Google, does finasteride cause cancer, that particular uh, study should be within the first five um, in terms of results. So this line here, I'm perfectly fine with them stopping there. Um, and anywhere I go, I'm perfectly fine with that. Because um, I believe the things that I'm doing in terms of my regimen will improve that over time. And I will tell you, um, the process that I'm undertaking at the moment is actually really good practice for what we call trust in the process. Uh, fin, like, or finasteride, just like a hair transplant, takes a year or more to, to really show your full results. Um, so, let me see, so I try to get him to say, you know, mess with the beard, and actually, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a scaredy cat, the, the whole beard and the needles thing, the closer I get to this transplant, the more real it becomes, uh, but that's a story for another day, um, all right, so these links that they sent me are like pictures of their certifications, um, I try to click on it, but it's, it's a deadline now at this point, as you can see on the screen. But later, they send those same exact uh, certificates, all in Turkish, if that's the name of their language. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sounding real ignorant there. I believe the language spoken in Turkey is Turkish. I could be wrong. Um, and I'm going to fix that as soon as I'm done with this video. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, so these pictures are, are pretty worthless. Um, but you can see over time that, you know, the guy, if the line goes quiet for um, any, any significant amount of time, they will reach back out and say, or check in, like, how are you, Mr. Cooper, or hello, Mr. Cooper, or all these other things. Um, so here he kind of flexes and brags that of the nearly 500 clinics, they're one of 20 that has yada yada certifications. So initially I was appalled. I'm going, I don't need... A, 10,000 grabs dog. I was like, let me let me let me give them some some different pictures of my haircut And you know what? This is all this is my goal just with a lower line All right, that's it. I'd like to go two weeks after a haircut get a line up Bring it back to this all Right, that's my cycle every month. I'm Gucci um, So Barbara did a pretty good job here um, But as you know when when your hair is cut you can't really see the full extent of your thinning or of your hair loss and and here's a, a, a great um, example of that before the transplant as you know you have to let your hair grow out as much as you can so I think I'll get one more haircut and then I'll go four five six weeks without one um, so that's all pending but this is from I, I didn't see the date on this I think this is like late February early March uh, as I'm recording on the iMovie there's a small screen I can't really um, so I have the computer all the way to my face as I try to read through. So here I just double back just to, to zoom in. I forgot I could do that as I was recording off of my phone. Uh, so my thinning is diffuse. Um, yeah, so the zoom, that little line, it actually changed the line later. Uh, so forgive me for going backwards here. I just want to uh, click on each picture and give you a better view. So note that the crown area that they're going to highlight later. Um, the lower crown, that that has been resolved. It looks as if if I had not intervened um, with the finasteride and, and whatnot, ultimately my progression um, would have been serious horseshoe. Um, and that also in limits 
or restricts the safe zone of my donor area. A lot of guys will, will, will experience some balding, but it would not do that dip that mine looks like it wanted to. If you look at um, some of my more recent posts, that's um, that's about that that's a hundred percent the lower crown. That's a hundred percent filled back in. Um, there's I don't even see an issue. I almost forgot that that was beginning to dip, and the, I didn't become aware of it until um, you know sitting actually targeting my pictures and whatnot. So uh, side view, like I said, man, I don't need no ten thousand graphs. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't even think I need five thousand. I'll be very happy with four. Um, so there's that dip. Look at how they drew that line. I was going, holy shit, bro, what the fuck. Um, I thought that this was pretty insightful on their part, um, and in being able to see that. Um, so that the, the further it, it, my only concern now is given that I've used, for, but then again, I sent these same pictures to the clinic I'm actually going to go to. And later, I'll show you my WhatsApp correspondence and my email correspondence with the other two clinics as well. Uh, and forgive me, I'm sorry this video is a bit long, but you do want to stick around. Um, you know, come back to it and, and, and finish where you started type of thing. I understand you don't want to sit through 20 minutes, but um, there's some really interesting stuff here. Um, I didn't brush it. Uh, <laughs> so it, you, you'll find it, well, at least me. Anytime I, I'm talking to someone, um, sometimes I start I start speaking like them. So some of my grammar in, in some of these messages is not a representative of, of uh, you know who I am. And I think I'm speaking over messages. Oh uh, well, maybe I'm not simply recording over this it would just be dead space but anyway he sent me a message like yeah trust me i'm an expert um don't rush um it's not about money uh it's about the best way of going about it so he's really stressing um in this audio um that i do the two um so so here i talk about my fear of needles and i'm, I'm bullshitting him i'm not taking his advice I'm not stupid. I'm not going to jump off the fin and, and think that somehow that he was right about this cancer bullshit. But anyway, um, but they use the word trust a lot. Um, so I'm talking about the injections and how, you know, brothers about a year, 18 months ago, had me fucking petrified. Um, so... At, at, at this point, I'm so going to Ashley Tarkin. Um, I'm going a bit fast here on the scroll. So he shows me some videos that are pretty stock. Um, they have these on their website, on their Instagram. You've probably seen these too. Uh, so I'm going to get off that real quick. Um, what else is he saying? So this is where it gets funky. There have been rumors and rumors. Ah, she's probably they're gonna, they're, the price is going up. The price is going up. And dude actually told me that. And I remember um, Flip, I believe it was Flip, he had a video where um, I left a comment. And, you know, I mentioned how, I was like, yo, man, they, they talking about the prices going up for real, for real at the end of the month. <clears throat> and his response was, you know, they've been saying that for a long time. And that is it's just probably a pressure campaign to get you uh, to bite. And I, I saw a lot of logic in that. So I, I just said, so, you know, I'll wait. So as we move on, um, he begins to ask me about my beard. That is not a picture of me, but an example of the picture of my beard he wanted me to send. I'm not sure if I actually sent that, to be honest, um, because I haven't grown up my beard since the coronavirus started about over a year ago. Um, what else? So with the beard, there's a new line where they would stop, which which would be appropriate, I think. Because um, again, there are things we can do uh, so long as the hair is still viable and not fully miniaturized, right? If we could turn those back on and, and, and reduce the scalp level DHT to where they'll become um, terminal hairs again. Um, so he's talking about the $250 to secure it and they would honor it in through 2022. 
Um, so here again, I'm confirming price. Um, and I'm kind of front loading the price. Um, but here's more of a question. Um, so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna wait to the very last minute because I was still in the huddle, still analyzing um, the 30 to 40 brothers I follow on YouTube who have gone there. Um, so I talk about the donor area issues that come up. I'm talking about that right side. I'm talking about how um, some brothers complain uh, and there's a mix of results. Um, I've seen some donor areas like, damn, brother just came the fuck up. And then I've seen some like, dang, I can't go through that because my head is so small. And I'm going to tell y'all, a depleted donor area looks worse in real life than it does on video. I was sitting in the park uh, two or three weeks ago. And uh, so we, you know we out here. We, we're tr we have trained eyes after looking at YouTube for so long. Um, we, we, we will see it if you're in public in the mall or something. Uh, but it definitely looks worse in person. All right, so here, when I'm when I sent this message, I was sitting there with my credit card in my hand. I was ready to make the two hundred and fifty dollar deposit. Um, and the link to uh, make the deposit was still live, though he's going to say, um, you know, that that's no longer an option. Um, and this is literally like the day after, I think I saw, um, Riley's video, somebody had dropped the video where they was like, I was like, oh shit, let me, let me hop on this before it's too late. And it was, and this is the beginning of the end for me, um, in terms of considering, um, going because I was, uh, I, I was like, yo, and I'm, I guess here in the States we're spoiled. If you're, if you're quoted the price for the most part. Folk honor that price, right? Even though things might have changed for future customers or current customers or people who are inquiring more recently. Um, and he's saying how it's out of his control, et cetera, et cetera. Then he sends me this really cool pamphlet um, that looks like this. And this is the highlighted or updated uh, price packages. Uh, many of you guys might have also received something like this or saw something like this online. It is indeed $2,500, and that has been the case since around April 1st, if I'm not mistaken. All right. At this point, the questions are going to get a bit more specific. Um, and these certifications are, are pretty encouraging. Um, they would be more so if I could actually read it. Um, <laughs> I, I wish they had, like, an English version of these things. Um, and I try to look at some of the acronyms. Um, I didn't recognize any of them um, um, that would resemble any international or U.S. based accreditation or certification. Uh, but the fact that they have so many is is pretty cool, and they seem to hang their hats on it. Right? They're, they're pretty proud of that. I think they said they're one of they're one of twenty out of damn near five hundred that have the credentials they have. Um, so they're, they're the go-to. Um, I've seen a lot of good results from there, but then again, I, I'm, my donor area is very, it's not the best. And I already intuitively knew that. Um, yeah. And then the fact they switched prices, I mean, pissed me off. Then they send me the scary stuff, bro. What the fuck? Woo! Yo, <laughs> I don't know why they sent this to me. Um, I think I gave them an inkling. I wasn't reading all of the text I just sent or I just saw. But I think they had an inkling that I was shopping around and I wasn't as committed um, as I sounded in the earlier stages of our correspondence. Um, and I guess they were trying to scare me. And this is scary to see. My heart goes out to anybody who's um, experienced any type of negative um because you're going to get your get your hair back, not to get your head fucked up. And I think for me going into this, I want to come out better than I am now. All right. So if I had a messed up donor area, I've probably been better off just staying the course with the finesse ride. So here I asked them um, the size punch that they use. Um, so I'm wondering about um, why is it that that some donor areas from that clinic um, aren't the best or ideal. And compared to another clinic that
that I looked at, they, their, their punch size is pretty small. And they're talking about the angles that they're doing and their expertise. And um, so here I just flourished them with a bunch of questions. Um, what day should I remove the scabs? Uh, what was the procedure for the first months? When could I wear a hat? Um, and they respond in kind. Um, some of the answers um, were, were expected, right? And then some of them um, kind of threw me. So I don't know if it passed already, but there's something to this saline solution. That spray that you see, I think Joe had it from Zering. Uh, you watch some of the other brothers. Uh, none, of, none of the African Americans that have gone to overseas, but uh, in the broader hair loss community, you'll see these guys with the, this the saline solution. There is something to that. Um, and I, I'm for sure gonna secure uh, some of that when the time comes. Um, they also break down some of the packages uh, in terms of aftercare that you have as options at additional cost, obviously. And they show me some of their successes. Um, and they have a, a, a range of ethnicities, as you see. My East African brother, um, I don't know if this guy is African American from the islands. Um, they have some Middle Eastern guys, some white guys. This donor area looks perfect. Oh, and the black guy that I said I don't know where he's from. He had videos before. I believe I saw, he was like in the bathroom about to jump in the shower. It was kind of weird in that way. But this shit was official. Um, I don't know what happened to him or what his name was. Uh, maybe we have to put him on a note card at some point too. All right, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get up out the way. I hope you got something from this. And I'll check you out in the next video. Peace.